Let's just see if you carry this right here. I, I, I'm just curious. There's not many people I compete against. You never know. Oh, yeah, that's a must have. When you that need a chainsaw. A I get asked a lot, what is this thing up here on top of my uh, my truck? And it's called a rod coffin, but I just carry a lot of spare rods in here. Got a spare battery charger, spare life jacket, extra braid. Uh, you just don't ever know when you need a different rod. I had to get one of those to put on top of my 2004 Hondo Accord. Just put some padlocks on it, keep it, keep it locked. That thing filled with water on me one time. I'm, I'm working on tackle underneath the car wash and it's like pouring like flooding and my boat's underneath the car wash so i can work on tackle all night and my truck's kind of like downhill and it filled it i mean it was brim full with water so i drilled some holes in it took forever for the water to get out i got lights there on the side like when i'm working on tackle at night you know it's all about being prepared for the tournament so just they'll shine back on the boat so you gotta imagine you're sitting in a VRBO or a hotel parking lot trying to work on tackle and fight mosquitoes, but yep, that's the best for us. I don't know how bad it is, but <laughs> drive this thing everywhere. It's a, kind of a, a, a billboard. I don't drive it to school. It, when it goes, it's going fishing. It's, it's a work truck, and uh, nah, it's, it's, it's a good truck. I just It gets a lot of attention, so if you're ever trying to be incognito to your fishing hole, this is not the truck to be driving to it. I'm leaving for Wisconsin and tying baits and tackle on. But if we come back here to the back, this will carry in it. Again, it's super dirty, but uh, it's a really big mess when I come home from an event. So that's kind of the shape it is in right now. But this side here, I just carry plastics, like all different, all my favorite plastics. Looks like I got swim baits. This is. Just spare reels. If I needed eight three to one, these are six eight to one gear ratios. Those all have braid on them. It's got extra line, worms, jig trailers, generals. It goes on up in there forever. So, and again, it's 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 not overly like just perfect shape, but just got boxes of seventeen five dredgers. And, 14.5 dredgers. I got a few little special colors in there. Let's just like, you don't have one like this color, Larry. I'm just telling you. Let me just show you. I don't have that one right there. You can get that one, but you can't get that one because I had somebody really special hand paint that one. So that's a that's a hand paint you can see through it. There's another hand paint one. Here's a, here's a hand paint. Now they make that color and the five, like the Fritz, you know, you can get that color in the Fritz side, but they didn't have it in the dredge. Baits, then if you go on back, I can't go any further because I'm hitting my boat, but I got spinner baits and, and vibrating jigs and just extra tackle in case I run out. At least one of everything on the road. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Now, like, like I, the rule is you never buy one, ever. Mm -hmm. You got at least buy two, and like for me, I'm gonna have like six because we got a four day tournament. And I, you know, you could lose six in a day, you know, yeah, so, you know, especially a lot of that stuff. So, and this thing's kind of cool. I just put this on this past year, uh, installed it myself. I was kind of proud of it, but man, to be able to get up to the front, it's kind of like in here, I carry, how many, how many times do you carry this in your fishing arsenal there? I just got to ask you, let's just, I mean, you know, I go about every day and let's just see if you carry this right here. I, I, I'm just, curious. there's not many people I compete against never know. Oh yeah, that's a must have. When you that need a chainsaw. A <laughs> carry one right there. Let's see if the battery's still good. So what's it? your what's your thinking behind carrying a chainsaw? Man, I might have to, I might have to yeah, cut my way it. back in somewhere. Like trees. Really? Oh yeah, I've done it a bunch. Hey, can, you, can I get a little shot of you just oh, ripping yeah. chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> Is that honestly why you carry it? Just uh, Absolutely. Like try to get back in a creek or a backwater lake. I've used that. I won a lot of money with it. You know, I've, I've always carried a chainsaw for the last 20 years. I've, heck, there's a lake down in Florida that after the hurricane, you couldn't get in that thing. And, and I cut trees for a day solid, but I got in there and I didn't win, but I had a real, like a top 10 finish.
Yep. That's different. That's different. I thought different. you might laugh at me. Yeah, yeah, I like that. that. <laughs> you gotta forgive the mess. You know, we were living in this shop. Had a tornado hit the house a little over a year ago. So, I mean, that was all closed. We got washer and dryer. It's just furniture still over there. Food, microwave. I mean, I did my coffee there every morning. So now we're back in the house. Larry's staying in there with us, and uh, I just hadn't cleaned up the mess yet. <laughs> but here's the boat. It's kind of a mess. Me and Larry have been filming. I've had a lot of fun with Larry over the last few days. But uh, man, it's just a, it's the boat that I've been with Nitro since 1996. The very first boat I ever bought was a Nitro, and heck, worked my way up through the state team and national team, and and now on, on the I guess they call it the pro team. But it's my office. Is where where I go to work every day is, is trying to catch a, a silly fish. It's everybody's dream right there. One thing in Major League Fishing, this is a little bit different. Like we have, a lot of times we have a camera guy, but we always have a boat official. So I put a third seat in here. Normally I don't put a third seat. I have a, I just have a, a, a step there, but um, I don't know what's kind of unique on my boat. I love the fact that my Lorances, I've got serious satellite radio. I got the weather channel on there. I've got, I can see lightning. I can have an alarm come up that tells me that, hey, lightning's 10 miles away or five miles away. So it's a great safety feature. Wind barbs is really cool on there. It just shows what direction the wind's blowing on any given portion of the lake, which can be really beneficial. But it's got some cool speakers. Kicker speakers on each side. I can hook my phone up to it, Pandora radio, whatever you <laughs> want to listen to. We got the tunes in here too, but um, I don't know. It, it, it's just, it's cool. It's, 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 uh, I don't know, it's kind of like, uh, like, it's all like a glove, man. I've been in this boat for so long, I just, I know, you can blindfold me and I can tell you anything and everything where it's at. Come up here, we got this just the ice chest. What's one really cool thing? It's got a super big ice chest. Like, you can put a whole 20 pound bag of ice still and plus a bunch of drinks in there. Little sandwich tray over there to keep, keep your sandwich out of the ice. Yeah, this might be a mess in here. Um, just tackle. Uh, I just, just kind of how I carry it. I just got, you name it, I got it in here. You know, just an extra box of treble hooks and wake bulls and buzz baits. I mean, Larry had a really fun day on buzz baits. You guys are going to have to check that video oh, out. Yeah, you got to watch that video, guys. <laughs> it was <laughs> incredible. Biggest fish in my life and a lot of them. So <laughs> It was a lot, a lot of fun. So it was, uh, man, we hit it perfect. I'm glad that, glad that we did. Come on up here a little bit further. Like I said, we've been fishing hard every day and uh, just got a mess of stuff in there. Um, kind of neat little memorabilia. My, my son made this. Just number one dad, love you, number one fan. So I just kind of keep it in my, in my boat. Just to remind me of him. He's a, he's a fun little kid. He's not little anymore, but I, I consider him little. But Then if we open this box here, we just got a bunch of rods. It's kind of like a mess too. We just kind of stuffed them back in there after we got done fishing. We were so happy the other day. Um, so how many do you think you carry with you tournament day on the boat? Yeah, you know, you hope to carry like three and they all got the same thing tied on, you know, but most of the time like 20 to 25, okay. you know, we're just rigged up for any type of situation. You just, most of the time you use about six to 10 of them. Mm -hmm. Come to this side, just more of the same. Got life jackets, rain suits, got extra line down in there. Then I got all my spinning rods on this side. So that's what we got in here. And a mass of baits. <laughs> Back in, it's just your regular live well battery yep. compartment, yep. stuff like that. Live well batteries, we got all my plastics. I kind of keep those over here. Um, just right in there, it's got all the plastics. I try to leave that compartment always empty just for my, my boat official, my camera guy, you know, if I have one. We just got the batteries and tools, carry tools. I carry a spare prop over here on this side. Just, I've been known to knock a prop or two off. Knock have you ever done it in a tournament? Oh yeah, I've knocked the motor off before, Larry. Oh man, I'm, I've totaled a boat before. I there's not much I hadn't done. I, if I think I can catch a bass there, I'm gonna go in over or under if I have to. So that's how you gotta play. Yeah, like yeah. Um, everywhere I go, people ask, "What are those? Those smokestacks for your engine?" So <laughs> I'm gonna hit a button up here just so you can see those go down. They're, they're shallow water anchors. They just stab themselves right in the ground. 
they make an eight foot and a 10 foot version, but they're, they're just kind of cool. It's a really handy tool. It's probably one of the neatest things that, that has ever come along. I know that was always a big question I always had right before I like got really big in the bass fishing. Like, what are these what things are in the back of somebody's boat? Every time I stop at a gas station, somebody asks, what are those things, you know? So yeah, those are cool. Came over here and we went into the, this is kind of where I keep all my plastics, you know. Obviously you can tell I like Berkeley. I got a lot of confidence in it, but. I got a mess. I was trying to find a coin today. I had a certain coin from a, a wounded warrior that I was looking for. I didn't find, I didn't know this was in here and you asked me to go film. So <laughs> again, that was my coin jar from the house and I haven't moved it back to the, but anyway, the real important piece to me and I put it in that coin jar before we moved. But uh, yeah, it's just a tackle room. It's it's kind of a mess right now. I'm, I'm kind of in the, in the middle of revamping and moving everything around. I was, I was thinking about kind of doing some tip videos back in that corner, so. So welcome to my house. Uh, Larry wanted me to talk about what my wife just got doing, just got done doing. We just just got moved in a little over a month ago, and uh, I never really displayed trophies in the old house. We had them out in an outside room, you know, kind of up high. But she built this wall. You know, my wife designed the house, and now we are displaying them, and it's kind of neat. They bring back a lot, a lot of memories. You know, when I think about this one here. This is the very first big major tournament I ever won, you know, 100,000 bucks. Lake Eufaula, Alabama. I was a very young kid, I mean, but I bought my first house with this. I went from living in a trailer house that I paid $7,500 for, making $150 a month payments to actually buying a home <laughs> with air conditioning, and it was pretty neat. So, uh, uh, you know, when I look at some of these here, uh, this is on the Alabama River. It's really cool. It's all spotted bass. I know, Larry, yeah. you love spotted bass, and uh, every fish I weighed in in that tournament was a spotted bass. But then you go right here, this Lake Erie, every fish I weighed in was a smallmouth. And, you know, um, we talked a little bit earlier about my boat and some of the things it's been through. This tournament right here, the waves were so big, there are 12 to 15 foot waves on the Noah buoy. And I look back and I've been driving for two hours, you know, just like 18 miles an hour going up and down these waves, bang, just, and I look back, my boat's feeling funny. And I look back, I got one bolt holding it, like the motor's torqued all the way over. So I put into the bank, into, I find a marina and, and they bring me another boat. I get to my fishing location like at 1130 that morning. And granted, we started at six. And uh, man, I ended up catching the limit and ended up going on to win the tournament. This one here is kind of cool, St. John's River, all largemouth, obviously, it's a, a title. I always was so bad in Florida, I just never could slow down enough, but in this event here, I caught like a 813, a monster, biggest sight fish I ever caught, you know, off a of bed, you know, you love doing that. It took me over two hours to catch her. I mean, it took forever to catch that. That's one thing I talk about on my channel is like, <laughs> fish on bed, they'll eat, you just gotta spend the time. Two hours. Yeah, two yeah, hours. Two yeah. hours. Um, Lake Estepoga ended up winning another tournament down in Florida. That was when a hurricane came through the final day. I forget what hurricane, but it rained and rained and rained and uh, found them up for a creek. It was kind of cool. Uh, just coming across here, just Chafalaya Basin. That's down in Louisiana. That was a cool tournament. I was running over two hours and 20 minutes to get to those fish every day. Uh, really cool trophy right here. One of my favorites. This was a Legends tournament. And uh, Jimmy Houston was in it, Roland Martin. Bill Dance, Johnny Morris, and then, uh, you know, four younger guys, me and uh, Ott Defoe and, and Timmy Horton and Kevin Van Dam, and uh, me and Bill won. And let me tell you, Bill can fish. Like, he was so competitive. You know, you see him on TV and just having fun reeling in all them big ones. He wanted to win that tournament. He was a lot, a lot of fun to fish with. But uh, that's the Bassmaster Classic, guys. Like, when I was, well, heck, a little bit older than my son right here, I dreamed of, of winning that. Every fallen star I'd see at night, every prayer, that's what I wanted to win more than anything. And I was able to do it right here in front of my home crowd. Uh, what chokes me up about it more than anything is my kids. You know, my wife and my kids, how happy they were 
especially my daughter. I just, I've never seen my daughter like that. She was so excited to, to, uh, to see me win that. So it was really cool. The, uh, there's some lakes down there in Shreveport. These were cool. These were back-to-back -back tournaments. Um, one on Kentucky Lake. The very next one was a month later, just back to back, and this was all smallmouth up on the St. Lawrence Seaway. Here's a cool trophy right here. I wonder whose this is. Come here. Hey, what? where you at? Put a stuck a trophy in here when I came home. Oh yeah. Kids fishing dog. Yeah, there you go. Well, fishing dog. <laughs> this, this is my son right here, and he wanted to stick his trophy in there. That was an age six to ten group, and he caught. I think it was a catfish that day, wasn't it? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, but he's a lot of fun. He loves to fish, but he loves Legos and soccer more. Girls? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Basketball, big into basketball, big into Legos, big into... He likes to fish with me. He's into lots of things. He's... And he's 11. Can you believe it? Yeah. You can say you beat Larry. Famous Larry. I can't. Famous yeah, YouTuber, you beat Larry did. in a game of knockout. I can't even lie about that one. Normally I put up a little bit of a fight, but he definitely got me <laughs> in one of those games. There's some cool memorabilia. Uh, Master Drill Sergeant Jody Harrelson made these. These were uh, um, 30 millimeter uh, shot during that uh, Operation uh, Desert Storm over in Afghanistan. Just He gave this to me because I won stage two, then he gave me another one because I won the points. Uh, just. Something I just I hope none of us ever take for granted is our freedoms and the people that have fought for them, guys. Because you know we live in the greatest country ever, and I, I make a living bass fishing. Larry makes a living on YouTube. You don't get to do that in other countries. So a gift from Johnny Morris, um, just time tested. It's all those rock conservationists. It's a, a it's an authentic. This is a real axe handle from a long time ago, like ten thousand years ago, which I just think is amazing. I just that people were here and that's how they lived a uh, super, super long time ago. But um, yeah, just moving down, um, guy gave me a, a guitar when I won the classic. It's it's signed on the back, it's kind of cool. It's a uh, it's a real electric guitar. So like if anybody knows how to play it, maybe Larry will play it for us later. Larry, can you play this? I don't know if you want me to try to play that. Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Play hot cross <laughs> buns on the recorder yeah. and that's about it. Redcrest, this is the big tournament, man. This is the, 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 the cat daddy of them all, the Redcrest Championship. It happened last year at Lacrosse, $300,000. It was a pretty awesome day. And uh, what's kind of exciting, the Redcrest this year is on Grand right here in Tulsa. So um, you guys are going to have to follow along in February. It's going to be right here in Tulsa. I hope I you come back. I got my money down. on Edwin. I yeah. have my money on Edwin. I'll Larry's on the bridge with the bed sheet. Let's go, yeah, Edwin. Yeah. Fish him hard. Catch a big mouth. Larry's supposed <laughs> to come stay at the house that week, so it'll be fun. I'll be here. It is Kate. Third grade. Third grade? What's yeah. the story behind it? Okay, at school, we do have a thing called the penguin shop during Christmas. Penguin shop during Christmas, okay. And you bring money to school, and you get to pick something out for your family. And I got a penguin with my dad. Thanks, buddy. Super sweet. Super sweet. One of my most favorite things on the whole wall, right here. Thanks, bud. <laughs> I need the I need the Larry hats. What I need, I just don't know if these are as good as what you make. Now we killed more dove than this. We just put two breasts in some of those, yeah. so that, that's why there's so few. And we just had a few minutes to hunt, so yeah. you guys don't throw yeah. us under the bus. You guys, me and Edwin went on a dove hunt today. Probably the most interesting dove hunt I've ever been on. Like we. We got after the birds, I'm just gonna say that. We were after them today. Like, it was fun, I, yeah. I, I had a lot of fun. That's yeah. the most fun dove, dove hunt I've had in a long time. Yeah, so. We mixed in a little Alabama and a lot of Oklahoma. And yeah. We had yeah. a lot of fun with it. Guys, I'm telling you, like, you come hang out with Ed when you're gonna catch your PB largemouth, then you're gonna catch your next PB next cast and it's just it's a lot of fun edwin has just left me in his tackle shop and i'm gonna just kind of walk around look at that backdrop right there like that's how do you beat that accent stuff just everything every soft plastic berkeley makes it looks like he has it in here so i mean he's fishing professional tournament so he kind of has to have everything you know you, you never know like the fish are gonna be eating a bottom hopper and you don't want to not have a bottom hopper in every color just because you never know what the fish are gonna be eating for that tournament but always stocked up and i mean this is just the stuff that he keeps in the shop this isn't counting the stuff that's in his truck or in his boat so just having making sure that you have enough stuff is really important and just something that can go a long way when you're tournament angling this is a lot of people i'm sure this is like everybody's fishing tackle dream here guys is just to have all this stuff one day and just 
even if you don't use it all, you know, just have it for people. And like somebody comes to the house, you have stories. Like I caught this fish on this and all that. We had a good week. He showed me some stuff, taught me a lot. I've learned a lot from Edwin and his cameraman, Chris. I promise that I definitely tried to ask everything I could possibly think to ask about. But I mean, definitely cool dude. I've had a good week with him here. Um, anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Guys, make sure to also go over and check out Edwin's channel. We got a lot of cool videos from this week, a lot of cool interest and stuff. So make sure you definitely go and do that. Caught a lot of fish, a lot of good fish. Also did a little dove hunt. I showed you the cooking part of that. I mean, we were just out there hanging out, so I didn't bring the cameras and stuff for that. Um, I think we killed three apiece on the dove hunt. Yeah, we killed three apiece, so got to do that today. It is cold in Oklahoma, I will tell you this. Thank y'all so much for the support on the channel. Fish them hard and have a good day. Another thing, we got Edwin to say big mouth bass. This, it's a movement. We're taking over. We are taking over. Edwin said big mouth.